Here we go. Sean, guys. Guys, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. oh, it is. It is. It's a sign. Nice job, Zero. Thank you, man. Coming up. This fish seems to be the right length for Colin's attack. Zero can't afford to lose another giant. This fish is so big, it's running downstream. We can't stop it. Take a lot of line. All right. Yeah. Are you? Are we getting up the anchor? Yeah, we're getting up the anchor. If it keeps going that way, we can lose this fish. I'm gonna run out of line. That's why it's pulling up the anchor, so we can chain this fish down. Raising the anchor allows the boat to drift with the fish and gives Cyril a chance to get some line back. We're drifting downstream. The current is going this way, so now we're we're drifting with the fish. One thing we have to be careful about in this area is a lot of snags. There's a lot of snags. A lot of snags. The river seems to be filled with obstacles. You see the sand that you see on the bark there. In some rivers, in some environments, it can be a, a problem for the fish. You know, dredging, basically they extract the sand from the bottom of the river and they destroy fish habitats. Oh, big head shakes. And big head shakes, monstrous head shakes. To complicate things further, the wind suddenly whips up hard, making fishing even tougher. That's a big fish, huh? It is. And the eventual surgery to implant a tag, possibly dangerous for the fish. Hey, you want to bump the boat forward a little bit? Keep this fish up in the water column right now. Yes, sir. Okay, he's back in the back. If the fish manages to swim under the boat, it could break the line on the hull. Come on, fish. 